Hey, hey Jake, where you been? I've just been out walking. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a little soggy last night. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but uh, hey, you got to get your bottle of champagne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you finished it. Where, where okay. is it for him? <laughs> So this is Jane from the Glacier National Park Fund. Come on over here. And um, yeah, they I contacted the, the fund a while back and um, and Jane was like, Yeah, I think you can do it. You can do it. And so and you which did is it. awesome. And yeah. we're here doing it. So yep. yeah, it's great. Very proud of you. Thanks. Yeah. So these guys are have been super cool. So. And we're going to do a thing at the Shaughnessy in March, right? right? Mm -hmm. So yep. um, we'll show a lot of his video and work, and mm -hmm. so it'll be great awesome. fun. So hope everybody will join us. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fun. We'll have a little talk. Yeah. It'll be a little bit more structured than this, <laughs> me just showing up here. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Jake. Thank you. Uh, Hike734.com for, I mean, most of you already know that. But definitely visit my blog. Um, I, the last blog I have up is from Cracker Lake, and I think that was from July. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I have a couple of me just talking. Um, but if you check out my blog, this this sometime this week, I'll go ahead and, and post um, another one. And I'm just going to keep putting them out, probably like one or two a week. I'll figure out what the ske what schedule works out the best, and then, and then you can kind of visit it a little bit more regularly. Definitely good to finally come here. I know um, um, my parents, especially my dad and my girlfriend, are, are really excited that um, they don't have to watch that little spot tracking device and stuff like that and worry about me anymore. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> and sometimes it's like it won't update everything completely right, so I'll stay for like two or three hours in one spot. And so they're wondering, like, am I stop taking pictures? Am I most likely? Um, being fed on by wild animals, <laughs> you know, or what is it exactly? So, um, so I made lots of phone calls when I would get done. So, um, what was it like knowing when you're out there all, you know, by yourself that there's still people back at home, you know, watching that little dot, praying yeah. for you, like you said. Yeah. How how was that? Um, it was fantastic. Um, I would say that there's, you know, certain times I would get, I definitely would get a little emotional. Um, you know, I think there's just, you know, you're tired, your body's distressed, and you're just you know, day after day out there and stuff. I think it was interesting. It was harder for me after I had, um, if I would do like a two day trip, then come back home a day, you know, an overnight or a day trips or whatever and do a couple of those and spend a lot of time at home. And then I would go out again. Um, those were actually harder for me than when I was just out for a while. I think once I got into a rhythm of being away for a while, it was much easier. Mm -hmm. um, but those those first like day or two when I was just going on these longer stints and stuff, I think those were the hardest for me. How many miles did you actually hike? I don't know exactly. Um, I think I calculated about 1,200, but um, but my GPS a couple of times um, it started looping through when I did like my eight-day trip, and so I so I needed to figure out some of those. And there was a couple of times when I would get back to my car and forget to shut off my GPS, so I've got road time, and that doesn't count as hiking time. <laughs> Incidentally, I can drive much faster than I can hike. So those that know me, I came into this thing about 300 pounds. <laughs> No, unfortunately, unfortunately, I didn't come into this that way that much. But um, no, I. But I definitely. Um, I I lost most of my weight at the beginning of the project. I think right now my next big challenge and stuff is figuring out um, how I can capitalize a little bit on this. Um, you know, this 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 part and all the blogging part. I don't really make any money on. So um, hopefully I can um, figure out some ways to kind of capitalize on that. So I think for me a lot of the the ways to do that and stuff is just is just is just that side of things and stuff is a little bit more of the business. And I would say probably one of the coolest experiences I had. Um, it took me all summer to finally have this happen, but I saw three wolves, um, and that was by far the coolest thing. And you know, despite about the whole wolf controversy debates or anything like that, I can say that. Um, I, I, I was walking and I saw them to my right and I didn't know it's right away that they were wolves I just heard that they were animals or I just saw, heard that there were animals there anyways but they came around and then there was they came onto the trail and so I saw them as three black wolves very cool experience and then um, they popped back and they started running forward and then after that um, I thought they were gone because that's how most animals work and uh, and I just kept walking and then they um, they popped out on the trail all three of them ran in front of me and then, um, and then one of them looped back around, and it was just really cool behaviorally seeing 
these animals, number one, acting in a pack fashion, and number two, like flanking me, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> although that is a little bit freaky. You know? <laughs> um, but, uh, but I was more excited about filming them, and, um, and so I came after the one that was, was, I came after the one with my camera that was flanking me, and he was coming around the corner. But anyways, um, he saw me, shirked, and then he ended up running off, and then and I heard the other two, and, um, and then just after a little tiny bit, I heard one of them howl, I heard the other two howl, and they disappeared. And it was just super, super awesome just to, just to kind of be in that environment where, you know, you're just really interacting. It was definitely very cool to have um, these wolves being, um, just showing sophisticated behavior. So that was definitely probably one of my cooler, cooler experiences. Um, this is Hike 734, Billy. He's, uh, yeah. That's the mascot for the fun. Yes, and this, this is the mascot for the fun here. And um, so we have a bunch of pictures of him and with him and stuff. And I took a picture of him up at the lake today and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm um, so really seeing some of that, that fun kind of stuff. So. But yeah, this is what a Hike 734 Billy looks like. But I kept him the whole time. We had we had a backup Billy. Just one, huh? I have a backup Billy at home just in case. But this this Billy was I was able to, to keep him with me. And how did you decide to do all this? What, what spurred you on in the very beginning? Um, you know, I had been poking around at trying to figure out how I could marry my video production love with Glacier National Park. And um, initially, I had talked with one of my friends. I was hiking the Carthew Alderson Trail up in Waterton, and we, I was talking about maybe kind of doing climbing type videos. And we realized that the demographic is pretty small, and of those that that, w that do climb peaks and stuff like that, it would be pretty small. And so, so I, you could tell I was kind of poking around that area. And then actually my friends Reed and Kelly, when we first met, they were talking about doing um, Glacier Park tourism DVDs. And so I'm like, ooh, 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 I would love to do that. And then one, and I was just thinking about that and I was taking a shower one morning and thinking, man, that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna actually go up into the park with my camera and I'm gonna video and it's gonna be for work. And eventually I'll go ahead and you know make these DVDs and stuff. And so, um, while I was taking a shower, I was thinking that's gonna be fantastic. And then I was like, I wonder how many miles of trail there are in the park. And then I was like, I wonder if anybody's hiked them all. And I'm like, oh, somebody has to. I mean, it's Glacier National Park and stuff. And I'm like, but I wonder if anybody's done it all in a year. And I'm like, I wonder if that's even feasible. And so I got out of the shower and I started doing some research. I emailed the fund and, and a handful of other people and started asking around and nobody had nobody had done it. So um, so I started working towards that. So that, that was kind of the genesis of it. And so, so this year for me is, um, you know, the whole tourism DVD has been off to the side. It's been kind of an interesting thing because, you know, at the park you have to be careful as far as filming and permits and all that other kind of stuff. And so um, I very quickly put that project off to the side and said, I'm going to go ahead and um, just focus on the hiking part and I'm just going to video blog. And um, so, so the primary focus was getting all 734 miles done. And the second one is, um, inc incidentally, we'll be creating the first online library of um, of, of videos of all the trails in the park. So that's really fun. I'm really excited mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. So having gone through all that, what was it like crossing the finish line today? Um, I think it's kind of surreal, honestly. Just, um, and I, I think it's number one, it's surreal. Number one, it's a relief. Um, you know, there, there's there's a certain burden that comes with projects like this. And so, you know, when you're, when you're finally done with these sorts of things and stuff, you're just kind of like, finally. <laughs> you know, you just you're done. So, um, but at least this is the walking part. Now this winter, I can go ahead and edit. So my project is is I would really say my project's about three quarters done. Um, the rest of it comes with trying to edit everything down and, and all that kind of stuff. But definitely, this is this is the big part. In the yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>